Hello and welcome to this video today guys, my name is Pros and this is a one tanks video on the Hellcat The full name is the M18 Hellcat, obviously this is the tier 6 German tank, no not German, American tank destroyer uh, Obviously the new the new line that came on uh, Overall opinion on the tank, it was an absolute grind for ages, I'm not a massive fan of it at all I was looking forward to it because obviously in games you see people wreck with it and obviously it's really fast It's one of its best points I did get this to the second upgrade, I didn't get the fourth up, the third upgrade, which is like the big damage one, but I, for me, what I just didn't, I just didn't like it. I, just, I think it was the traversing, it was just really slow, and it just felt so sluggish, and it just wasn't quite for me. Like, obviously I loved the M49, the previous tank, and um, just this one didn't work for me at all, didn't like it. Uh, I have sold it now, so the stats are going to be a bit different, they're not going to be exactly, so what I'll do is I'll tell you the base stats, then I'll read out a few of the key stats from the upgrade. Uh, but the other reason why I did sell this is because I've recently just bought the T29, so I needed like 500,000 silver to buy it, like extra silver. So that's why I've sold it as well, because I didn't really think it was that great, but also, yeah, because I needed some money. So I'm going to run through the stats quickly, guys, and I'll give you some tips. Okay, yeah, it has 550 hit points. An engine power of 350, a speed limit of 72 kilometers an hour, a traverse speed of 30, a hull armor of 13, 13, 13, a turret armor of 25, 13, and 13, a standard shell damage of 83 to 138, a standard shell penetration of 76 to 126, a rate of fire of 15.38, a turret traverse speed of 16, a view range of 370 meters, and a signal range of 325 meters. So, of course, the standout stats there. Pretty decent health, but that speed limit is just outrageous. The thing with this tank is not got great acceleration. It is the top speed, so I think it hits about like 20 km an hour pretty quick, but then then it obviously just keeps going up and up and up. Um, this is I'm gonna read out the third, the second upgrade stats. So it has an engine power of 400, a run, a rate of, rate of fire of 19.35, a penetration of 128, 177, 38. A damage of 115 to 110 to 185. An aiming time of, of uh, 1.7. An accuracy of 0 0.34 to 0 0.37. And that's basically it. It does become a lot better, obviously, when you get the upgrades. I didn't I didn't stick with it to get the final one, just because, like I said, I needed the money. Uh, the best thing with this tank is basically to... I found to be sort of a scout tank... To offer support in all over the uh, all over the battle, so you might decide to go a certain way on the map, but then you realise like partway through your team to get uh, really strong on another side of the map, you have the pace and you can actually go and help them. Obviously, with the bigger damage gun, then you'll be able to do more. But that's fourteen thousand XP, and that's a lot of XP. Uh, I might come back to this tank like I do with quite a few different tanks. I sort of sell them and then come back to them, but. Yeah, it's a solid tank. Obviously, like I said, I think the best way to do it is to scout, get a couple of kills. Don't look to be a beast because it doesn't quite work with this tank. Well, it did for me. I got into, most of the time when playing, I got into really high level games. So it made it really difficult to actually have a good gameplay. Uh, but yeah, I think if you, oh, actually, yeah, the best maps for this tank, obviously you can't choose the map you play. The best maps for this tank are town maps. So Fishman's Bay, uh, the big like in uh, what's the the one with the church on the hill and the train the train tracks begins with a H yeah you know what I mean uh, but those sort of maps because you can get around buildings obviously because you've got a bit more pace than people if you angle your armor and get ready with your gun you can just pop around a corner hit the back of them and then just keep messing with them and that's the best way and then just make sure you're really you communicate with your team a lot because then they'll come in help you out do a load of damage, there might be a heavy tank or another tank destroyer. And uh, that's basically the best way i found to play this tank. Just to pester people in a way and just deal out constant damage. And then obviously if you've got someone capping the base like uh, on against you, then you can bolt back, do some damage, then like get, buy some more time or you can kill them. Or even in the other situation where you've you got a teammate capturing the base and they need a hand, then you can just bomb up with your 72 columns an hour and then be fine. But guys, let me know what you think about this tank. Give me some tips in the uh, in the comments. Obviously, helping out everyone else. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.